What's going on guys and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can animate UI like this in Roblox Studio. Alright so the first thing we need to do is get the screen to UI. I'm just going to call this menu and then I'm going to go ahead and make a frame under this and this is going to be our actual menu frame. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the anchor point 0.5 comma 0.5 and I'm going to make sure the size is scaled on this. I'll do 0.5 comma 0.5 for the size. And then the position will make 0.5 comma 0 comma 0.5 comma 0. And then we'll go ahead and change the color of this to like a grayish color. Like that. We can add a UI corner to this. Or make the corner radius like 0.2. And then we can add a stroke to this. Which we can make like 2 as well. And then you can put whatever you want into this frame. Um, I'm just going to leave it empty for now. I'm going to go ahead and rename the frame to menu as well. And then I need a button. So we'll get a text button in here. We'll call this uh, menu button. I'm going to go ahead and set the size to scaled on this. But it's in the middle on the left, kind of like this. But right there, you don't have to worry about the anchoring or anything on this one. You can set this up however you like as well. Um, I'm going to change the color to the same one that we have here. Make the text white. We'll just put the text like settings or something. And then we can also take the corner and the stroke and just duplicate those from the menu and put them into the button. And I'm gonna increase the, the UI corner a little bit and then change the stroke to border. So that should be all of our UI setup. We can go ahead and close these up and then get a uh, local script into here. We'll call this one menu manager. And then all we need to do in here is we need to get the tween service. Tween service game get service ween service we'll get the button so we'll go local button your script dot parent dot menu button and then we need to get the tween info so we'll go local tween in info so this is whenever the menu is opening we'll go tween info dot new 0.5 comma enum dot easing style dot back and then we'll go enum dot easing direction dot out and then we'll get tween out info so whenever we close them in the menu this will play we'll go tween info dot new 0.5 comma enum dot easing style dot back and then we'll get enum dot easing direction dot in and you can change these however you want if you want to use um, elastic uh, linear whatever you want for these styles or the times you can go ahead and change them there okay we'll get local tween in props which will be a table which is going to be position equals udim 2new and then this is where you want to put the size of your menu so in the menu you want to go down to the size and you want to put that in right here it for my menu is just 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 and this is not position this should be size but we will also set the position so position will equal udim 2new and then whatever the position of your menu is whenever it's open so mine is also 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 so we'll put that in and then we need to get tween out props which is going to equal another table and then size is going to equal udim 2new and this one's going to be 0 0 0 0 and then the position is going to equal the same as this up here except the y is going to be 1.5 so it'll be 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 1.5 comma 0 all right now we need to create the tweens so we'll go local open tween equals tween service create we'll pass in the menu so that'll be script.parent.menu we'll pass in the tween in info and then the tween in props Okay, we'll create the close tween as well, which is tween service create script.parent.menu. So the menu we want to tween and then tween out info and then tween out props. Just to make sure that the menu is actually visible whenever we're playing, we say script.parent.menu visible equals true. And then we can also play the close tween that the menu is actually you know for sure closed whenever we actually start playing 
I'm going to create a variable here, which is going to be open. We'll set that to false. And this is how we're going to keep track of whether the menu is open or not. And then we'll go button dot mouse button one click one connect function. No need anything there. We'll say if open, then we say close tween colon play. And then we'll say open equals false. And then we'll say else open tween colon play. Open it equals true. And that should be it for the script. We can go ahead and play on this and then see if this works. So if we hit the button on the left, it'll open up our menu and it'll be all animated and nice and stuff. And yeah, that's how you can animate UI in Roblox. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you have any other questions or if you want to see me make a different tutorial, let me know in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe and join my Roblox group and my Discord with the links in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.